Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Uh, today is the day where I take out my new old Z10. So this is the Z10. You notice how thick the tire is. It's a four inch tire. Yep. Right. And I want to make a point of thanking Duff at EUC Army. That may be reversed because I'm I'm using the, the selfie function on the camera. But um, yeah, I took it around for a little bit. And I just wanted to explain a little bit of my history and why I got a new old wheel. When I started, I had a V5F. This was in the latter half of 2018. And I went around investigating what the cool new wheels were because I wanted to, you know, upgrade if I liked it. And uh, the Z10 was the wheel to get back then. And uh, it was beautiful. It, uh, it seemed like state of the art. And I remember reaching out to Marty, uh, to whom I'll forever be in debt because he really helped propel my hobby. And uh, Marty weighed the pros and cons. He said a lot of them were arriving DOA, which was a drag and I was incapable of repairing a wheel or changing batteries. So I didn't want an MSX because it was really fast and uh, more than a little intimidating. So I went for the V10F by Emotion, which was, you know, in hindsight, a really good starter wheel for me. And I went from the V10F to the Nikola uh, the Nikola Plus, which was probably of all the wheels I've owned, I rode it the best, if that makes any sense. I, I was at my best as a rider on the Nikola. And then I went from the Nikola to the Sherman, added the Hero. And, uh, you know, there's always that one wheel, just like there's always that one car in your life that you looked at as a kid that you always wanted. And for me, that wheel was the Z10. And I know that it's, it has its issues. It's a big tire. It's in some ways more difficult to ride, but uh, we'll go out on a ride in a minute and we'll see how I do. So I'll see you from the bike trail. Hey everybody, I'm riding the Z10. And if you think I'm riding slowly, you are correct. Um, I'm experiencing wobbles at about 15 miles per hour, which is, you know, totally to be expected because I never checked the tire pressure. And I tend to run uh, at a lower tire pressure than a lot of people. I, I like my wheels around 25 PSI, so this might be a little high. It's a tubeless road tire, whereas my Hero and Sherman tires are knobbies with tubes. So there's a different feel, but overall I'm really happy. I find it to be very maneuverable at short speeds. Uh, no crashes, nothing. I'm just keeping it mellow today while I learn the wheel. And uh, tonight I'll add the trolley handle, check the tire pressure, and uh, move forward. So I want to tell you how I got the wheel. Uh, Duff had purchased two new wheels, and I'd let him know a little while ago that if he ever wanted to get rid of his Z10, I was his guy because I'd always admired it, always wanted one. I know when Marty sold his Z10 to Frank, the first thought in my head was, damn, I should have told him I wanted it. So uh, it was great of Duff to take the time uh, to box it up, ship it out. Um, if any of you don't shop with Duff at eucarmy.com, you should because he's a great guy and an asset to the community. And hopefully we'll see him uh, here in L.A. soon. So I want to follow up on uh, a little story I started uh, when I was hanging out with you earlier, and that is the Nikola. So almost to the end of my ownership of the Nikola, I had a really bad knee injury in my martial arts class. I've been doing it for 32 years, and I landed a kick with a straight leg, and it really trashed my knee. Um, so I had a consultation. They recommended a knee transplant. And then COVID hit and any non-essential surgery was canceled. So I was never booked for the surgery. And I was off my feet, really. I couldn't teach class because classes were closed. So my knee felt better. And it's continued to feel better, but it is a, a little wonky when I ride, particularly mounting. The interesting thing is, 
mounting the Z10 is actually easier than the Sherman or the Hero for me. Sherman's pretty easy, but the Hero is still a little tough. So anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. I'm going to keep practicing. Hope you all have a good weekend. Oh, and I may not have covered this adequately. Um, many of you who watch these uh, various writing videos may notice that my hair isn't as good as Marty's. Um, nobody's is. Just we have to accept the fact that some people are genetically superior. Uh, anyway, I'll see you soon.